happiness. What is this thing that everybody's talking about? You gotta be happy. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm really, really glad you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. What is a metaphysical ministry? The thing about the world and existence is using your five senses, assuming you're only a five-dimensional being, you're able to observe and participate in and enjoy less than 1% of what actually exists in the world. When you allow yourself to go beyond your five senses, when you can sense things that you can't see or hear or taste or touch or smell, that's when you get to enjoy that 99%, that richness that exists. It's bigger than the physics of your senses. We begin every week with a happy share. And a happy share is something that leaves you feeling happy, peaceful. Ah, and it's something that happened for you. Not for your kids, not for your partner, not for your parents, or even your best friend. Something that happened in your life that left you feeling really good. Now for me, this past week, I celebrated my birthday and a new restaurant that's having what's called the soft opening not open to the public had given me the opportunity to take five friends over for a really delightful lunch so I got to be with five friends who my friends for me and my family because my family lives on the east coast and I live in the northwest of the US I get to be with my chosen family on my birthday and it was a wonderful, wonderful gift from the universe, left me feeling happy and peaceful. It was a great day all in all. What's your happy share? Why don't you go on down there and let us know what it is, because you know what happens? You get to feel it all over again. You get to run those feel good chemicals all over again. Now what I want to talk to you about today is just what is this happiness thing that I talk about and so many other people talk about and has been studied for decades and decades in major universities like Harvard and UCLA. Happiness for me is about being at a level in your life where you live in truth, where you think accurately. Now I said accurately, not positive thinking, certainly not negative thinking, because positive thinking and negative thinking are both putting your interpretation on events and events just are. Accurate thinking is seeing the world as it is without giving meaning, good or bad, to anything. When you can see the world for the truth that exists, instead of the appearances and instead of what people tell you to think about an event, then you're living with accurate thinking and your life will get so much richer because you'll stop hurting yourself with your thoughts or you'll stop wishing for things that don't even fit with your soul plan and aren't even in alignment with your purpose here on earth. So how do you know when you're actually happy? See, when you're really living in happiness and things happen in your life Bad things happen to everybody. You get hurt or someone you care about gets hurt. Someone you care about dies. People grow up, they move away. Things happen, they're inevitable. It's part of life. How you handle things are unexpected things. How you handle them determines your level of happiness how fast you're able to bounce back, how you're able to deal with whatever that heavy duty event is. And the higher your level, the easier you can step into the action you need to take, get through it, and then come back into the happiness. It doesn't mean you don't miss things. And it doesn't mean you're never grieving for anything or anyone. It simply means 
you know it's part of life you know everything happens perfectly and you know above all that you are okay regardless of how things look you and anybody else involved in whatever situation is truly okay because nothing touches absolutely nothing touches the divine spirit that is you that is each of us so if you're living your life on a scale of 1 to 10 at a happiness level of a 9 or a 10 and something happens oh you lose your job and you have to move away to get to another job if you're up at a 9 or a 10 you deal with it you make whatever arrangements you have to make to handle the situation, to find the other job to move. You do it, and you get back to that level of 9 or 10. But what if you, like most people out there today, are just like settling for life, and basically witnessed by the faces most people walk around, most people are grimacing or kind of bored looking, very few people are smiling. I mean real smiles, and you can see it in the face because it takes certain muscles to make a real smile, as opposed to, uh, I'm going to pretend I'm smiling. Smile, you know what I mean. You can see it on people. If you're one of the many people living at a level two or three, and that level five event happens, you can't handle it. It will absolutely destroy you. So learning how to create the habit of happiness, it's your job so that you can enjoy life. You came here to enjoy life, not to struggle. Now, if you're on our ministry site and you look up there, you'll see a page, Hold the Space For. Hold the Space means to envision somebody manifesting living in reality they don't currently live in it could be oh, a new job a new for you house a car maybe it's a new relationship whatever it is it isn't in your life now and you want some help getting it into your life faster let's increase the size of the thought form so the universe sees it more easily and brings it to you in divine timing Go ahead down there. Tell us what it is. I'll put it up on that page. You come back at least once a week. You read your name, every name up there, and what we're holding the space for for people. The universe knows who they are. You don't have to know. It will make it happen sooner. I'm really glad you came by today. If you haven't done so already, going over there, Fill in your name and email, and I will send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. Again, I'm Reverend Allie Beerman. I appreciate your click and like and share, because you may not know which of your friends or family are seeking a not religious, but a spiritual community online. Again, I'm Reverend Allie Beerman. I wish you a wonderful week creating the habit of happiness. Blessings.